Did I do it? I did it hor- this looks really bad. I don't know how to do YouTube. Okay, that was not a human sound. Hey guys, today is a video where I'm sitting in a chair. I'm gonna be answering some questions because I haven't answered questions in like a month and I think it should be like a thing that I do kind of frequently so you guys can like keep updated and like ask the questions that you want to ask and like do all the things that you want to do. I'm also here with this glorious wall that goes all the way to the ceiling and I love it and it's great and it's my favorite thing that I've done. Just kidding, but it's probably one of my favorite things. We also have this light. This one's name is George. Where's your favorite place to visit? XOXO. I love going to Canada. I'm probably going back later this month. I'm really excited about that. Victoria, BC is one of my favorite cities in the world. Love going to LA. I loved New York. Not really for like New York itself, but for the people that were there. So I like visiting those people like you, Gabby, McCarthy Airport. But yeah, I also really want to go back to the UK. I've said that 5,000 billion times, but I'm going to do it one time, someday in the times. Do a dance. At this point, I just don't want to have hair. This is, what is that? What is it? Who allowed it? Brownies with or without frosting? Without. One of my favorite parts of the brownie is like the top, like when it, the chocolate of the top of the brownie gets all crispy because of like the heat and stuff. And you just, and if you just like cover it with like frosting, then it just gets all gross and like frosted. And also, I don't really like frosting that much without because ain't nobody got time for frosting. <laughs> Is Maribel Bats your first name? Yeah, my last, my middle name is Penguin, and my last name is Cucumber. Are you gonna punch me again? Obviously. Sing a song about me. Adam is a chicken. Talk about cheese and why it makes you so happy. I don't know. What? I mean, I like cheese, but it's. What? I can't see. That light is very bright. I have this photo. Go. Da Who inspired you to start drawing? No one really inspired me to draw. I just kind of like did it ever since I was like that big. And I recently I found some of my old drawings and I'll show them. I don't know what that is, but I, apparently I did that. That's like an old man doing something. And then here's like a lady that's like dancing or something. I don't know. But I used to be like obsessed with wolves. So there's like that wolf thing. You can't really see it. And then that wolf thing I think I did when I was like 10 or something or 9. Now, I went through all these and I saw like basically they're all like kind of happy and cool and like, like there's a picture drawing of like a tiger just doing tiger things and like a drawing of my dad that I did when I was like 6 or something, I don't know. Then I found a lot of really emo, creepy, disturbing ones that I have no idea why but I apparently decided to draw. Now I couldn't find a lot of them, but I know there is a lot of these really creepy drawings I used to draw. But then I found this, and I don't know what I was doing with my life. Why did I draw such a creepy little thing doing, what is that? Why did I do that? I don't, most, I drew this when I was like seven. Like most kids when they're seven, they draw like suns with like sunglasses and like, bunch of fun things like that but I drew like a creepy little wolf thing that's like sharpening his claws and there's a skeleton and like I, I like honestly I went through I need to go find a bunch of them you know when they go through and like they find like a serial killer or like a sociopath or something like that and then they like go back to their childhood history and they find drawings of like dead people and like a bunch of those things like I'm surprised I'm not like a serial killer because I found so many drawings because there's like so many like dead people and like sad people and like crying girls when I, that I drew when I was like seven and eight so <laughs> I'm scared of myself oh, stop it's weird because like now I'm like happy and great and awesome but like I don't remember being like all depressed and sad and I apparently drew those things I'll try to find more and if I find them I'll put them in now oh my god you see a horse go by you know you'll be the next to die they wrap you up in bloody sheets and throw you down 10,000 feet. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Probably like strawberry or something. Mill. Like what? Uh, what? 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 What is happening with my face? Whoops. Okay. What's mill in Spanish? <laughs> What's mill in Spanish? Molino. 
Molino. Gotta keep it the times. So, Merry Christmas. So that's all for this. I'm sorry if it's kind of, I don't really understand this video. Um, but I hope you have a great day and I love you and you're amazing and you're beautiful and you're neat and you're snazzy and you're fantastic and you're gorgeous and you're fancy and you look nice even though that I look awful. Make sure you subscribe for videos every Sunday-ish. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let's try to get it to about 5.6 likes. Get it there. I love you and you're great and you look really nice today. Goodbye! Just like